Microsoft To Do is a free app from Microsoft and it's one of the best to-do list and task manager apps in the market. And I've been using it every single day for well over five years and it syncs across all your devices. So I start on my computer, but it syncs to my phone, it syncs to my iPad, and it does it all seamlessly in the background. Now, Microsoft To Do is available here on the Microsoft website and you could download it for Mac or PC and it's available on Android and on iPhones and iPads too. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and download it for my computer. So if you have a Windows, click this. If you have a Mac, click this. Now on the Mac, it's gonna be available in the App Store, so I'll download it. And to use ToDo, all you need is a free Microsoft account. If you don't have one, you could just create one or log into your existing one and it will open up the app. Now here's what the app looks like. And if you press these three dots right here, you could change your theme. So if you want a different look out of it here, they have a bunch of different options here to choose from, or just a plain one that gives you the background like this but I'll start with this theme over here. So the way this app is organized is basically on the left side, this column here, these are gonna be what are called lists. These are created for you by default. And then you could also create a new list from down here. So I'll show you exactly how to do this in a second. But within each list, you have this page as well. This is where your to-dos or your tasks are gonna take place. So all you have to do is type right here in this box to create a new task. And then you just have to press enter once you type in the task and it's gonna show up over here as a task. Now, once you add it to do, if you select it, if you click and select it, you're gonna get this option over here too. And this is multiple useful things that you could add, including steps. So some things require steps within the task. So this one requires me to script the video, then to record the video, and then to edit the video. And all I have to do now is check off each step. And if you look over here, it says one out of three, two out of three, and then when it's all done, three out of three. Now the task is not complete. I would have to press this check mark to do that. I'll show you that in a second to complete the task. But the steps within each task, very useful. Now it's gonna show you what list this is part of. So my day is the list here that we had by default. Then we have reminder. So if this has some kind of due date or you need a reminder, you could select that like this. Or if it has a very specific due date, you could select that like this as well or choose from a date here also. Now you could always choose repeat to if you have something that's due daily or weekly or monthly or yearly. These are all options that are available for it to repeat. So even if you check it off, it might come back the next day if you have a set to daily, for example. So I do that with things that I have to do every single day. And you could also add notes here to any of these specific tasks. And this is really handy when you share it with other people and they kind of need to see what this is all about. I'll show you sharing in a little bit. Okay, let me go back over here. Let me add a few more tasks within this list here and I'll show you how to organize them. Okay, I created several here, but I wanna sort them. So it's really simple. All you have to do is select one and grab it and put it on top. And all these are just really simple drag and drop and I usually sort them based on the order that I'm gonna go through this list for the day, for example. So let's say the next thing I gotta do is create that Microsoft tutorial, so that's what I'm doing now, so I'm gonna move it right to the top. That's the one that's due right now. Now, another thing I like to do is I like to use the star because if you select it, you get this under this important list. So if I go there, maybe I'll start here with anything that has a star. Now, once you complete a task, all you have to do is press this check mark right here, and it's gonna move it here to the completed section. And if you change your mind for some reason, you could always bring it back over here. But I actually like to just keep them down here and I usually don't delete them just to see what I've completed here throughout my day. Now, next, let's look at organizing this because typically you don't wanna have everything you do inside of Microsoft To Do just inside of one list. So if you go down here, you could create a new list. And the way I like to do this is I like to just organize this based on different topics. So this is video creation, for example, and these are all my video ideas that are gonna go into the section, into this list. So one way to do it is you could go to a different list and you could drag and drop it. So this is a video idea, so I could drag and drop it into this list now. And if I go to this list now, I have it over here. You could always add a task over here to this specific list, as long as it's highlighted as well. And I could create the list on my video ideas over here under this list. So let me create multiple different lists because we have another way to organize it even more. So now I have four different lists and these three are going to be all personal. So what I like to do is over here, there is something called groups. If I create a new group, it actually creates kind of a folder. So I'm gonna call this personal 
So as I mentioned, I use this for pretty much everything, work and personal. So all I have to do is I'm going to hold shift. I'm going to select these three and I'm going to move them into this personal folder. So now this personal folder here has all the different lists that are related to my personal life. And then I create another one, let's say for work. And this folder will have anything related to video creation and work related tasks. I'll move that over here. And this account is now much more organized and I could always collapse these as well. Now to move different tasks, let's say this is a personal task here. I could always right click on it or if I'm on a Mac, press control and click and I can move this task to that specific list. So let's say this is related to housework. It's about my car. So I'll move it over to that. This one is about making videos. So I'll move this to my video creation list. Okay, now if I go to work and I go to video creation, I have everything and then I could organize it even further. In my actual account, it is super organized. I have many of these folders and within them, I have many lists and inside of each list, I have many tasks and some of them even have the steps. So you could get really, really organized with the different steps that it takes to get this to be more efficient. Now within each of your lists here, you also have these three dots and you could rename the list if you want. You could go ahead and move the list somewhere else, maybe to an entirely different folder. So that's why it's nice to create those folders. You could remove them from a group. You could sort them a different way. So usually I like to sort them by date created or to do one of these two, but you could do it alphabetically, for example. So a bunch of different options and even deleting the list from these three dots. Now next, let's talk about collaboration here. So this icon right over here, now, this is going to let you invite people into a specific list. So this is not going to be to a whole folder. So as long as you create a list, you could invite people to the specific list. And that's one of the reasons I like to really keep this organized between personal and work. So all you have to do is go to that list, press this little icon, say invite via, click this. It's going to let you either copy a link or send an email. Let me send an email here. Okay, it looks like the second person has joined and anytime you could stop sharing it too if you decide to remove them or press X here to remove them. I'm going to go ahead and press done and now you could see this icon turn into two. So two people are now part of this list and if I select this now, I could assign them to this. So you have this new option that says assign. So I could assign it to myself or I could assign it here to Andrew. And there you go. Now you get a little icon. So let me assign this to myself to see what it looks like. So you could see this is a great way to collaborate and get things done here in a group. I use this for work all the time. I have many, many, many lists that have multiple people in it and I assign different tasks. I add steps to it. I add instructions here add files if I need to and add a due date. So I use this for work that way. And once this starts to get really crowded, you also have the search tab over here. So if you need to search for anything, let's say I need to look at anything that's Microsoft related, I could search for Microsoft and it's going to show the tasks that have that word in it as well. And that's your crash course in using Microsoft to do. And I have a different video about another app called Trello. That one is more for work, but it's a great task manager. I'll link that here and in the description. I hope you found this video useful and I'll see you next time.